ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel so I haven't videotaped in a couple of days I should say about a week but uh, I've been bit real busy doing some other stuff in the shop um, so now the new project is ta-da boat yeah we do boats so with that said what we're doing on this boat is stage one is we're gonna put in or I should say we've already done it we, we uh, took the stock Yamaha radio which has a fusion radio here that run all the OEM speakers and this speak this boat mm -hmm. had all I believe JVC speakers in it marine grade so what we did was basically upgrade every speaker which was three pairs of six uh, three pairs of five and a quarters to all six and a halves and then we added a set of tower speakers and two subs and then on top of that we're going to do three amplifiers and a DSP why a boat because any DSP will make a boat sound better or any vehicle sound better so let me tell you what we've done so far on the boat so like I said before we have the fusion radio here uh, that's it MS RA 70 NSX uh, we have the cats for it we just have this off just in case we have to take it down one more time uh, then what we basically did was we took a set of Rockford speakers and we made some uh, step off plates because like I said this was a five and a quarter so we made it a six and a half to accommodate the speaker up size we're going to do and of course we got one on each side we also did uh, so the speakers are here so you got one on each side we had to make those larger and the nice thing about this on the boat is those particular setups were plastic so when we cut it we found that it was all plastic and then we also did speakers in the bow or I should say the front so all these speakers here so all the speakers you see illuminate so with that said we had to run brand new wires from each set of speakers as well as wiring for the lighting as well so that's got to be a minimum of four wires uh, I didn't find that out until after I ran the wire so I had to redo a lot of the wiring again so in the process um, it became pretty simple not hard but simple then we had to boot those boogers Rockford 8 inch tower speakers so we mounted those and they still probably need to be adjusted because we haven't got to the audio part of it we drilled holes in the actual tower ran them all the way down through here and down the side and there's a big hole here in the factory tower that allows us to run wires down here so that's why you don't see any wires on here uh, we're going to obviously add some type of base control knob with the setup or well, actually what we're going to do for here is we're going to use the fader from the radio to fade from here to there so if you want to turn those down you just have to fade it uh, instead of doing some kind of knob that way we don't have any failures on the knob section and if we do have a failure it's not gonna be complicated and then we also had to take off both seats and put two 10 inch woofers there so one there and one over there so both seats came out we cut them and we put them in and those woofers are gonna be infinite baffle um, hopefully we won't have any phase issues but if we do all we have to do is basically uh, change the phase on one of them and it should work fine uh, but we're ready for that and then we basically with then we added another battery right here I can't see it but you can see it there's another battery in there we put a blue top optima in there and we ran it to these batteries so you got a start battery and then you got a house battery so this battery is tied into the house battery we're gonna have to mount the fuse holder which is here for now just so we can have it in here so we, when we test everything we know it all works uh, then we ran all 10 flex wires all the way through the boat all the way to the back I mean, all the way to here to a compartment over here so everything terminates in here so everything terminates in here and so we're gonna have a tower this amplifier which is a uh, Audison 4.500 running the towers and the front speakers which is the front of the boat this 4.5100 or 4.500 is going to run the middle of the boat and the rear of the boat and this monoblock is going to run the subs then we have your 
audio control, DM810 running, all of that. So the reason we went with the DM810 is we needed nine channels of equalization. And why nine channels? Because we want to do each set independent from the other set. So we won't have any kind of crosstalk or anything like that. Just like you would do on a full custom system on a car. Uh, and we're going to do them high pass, obviously. And I'll show you the setup on the boat once we get to that, that point. Uh, but you're going to see that when you do a boat with a DSP, that you could really get the mass performance out of that that you really want to get out of a boat or any kind of vehicle. So a DSP is not just uh, relocated or designed specifically for automotive uses because you're going to see more manufacturers make DSP amplifiers just for boats. And I, I'm willing to bet it's it's just a matter of time. I know Audison's making one right now. Uh, they've showed it before at uh, some of the vendor shows. And I know uh, because they're going to use it for bikes and maybe not a bike amplifier DSP, but bikes have DSP amplifiers on them. So if it goes on a bike, it can go on a car, it can go on a boat. And what you're going to find is that the performance is what you really want. So stay tuned for the second video of how this boat actually sounds and how we physically wired everything up. And you can see all the wiring once we're done. Uh, so catch you on the next video, part two. Stay tuned.